some tips I have um, for applicants to be successful during our process is, is certainly one to be academically competitive. Um, we, we like to see students who have been successful in not only their entire college career but specifically the, the science prerequisite courses that we have. Um, really showing us that you can manage a, a tough curriculum in undergrad because when you make this transition to uh, veterinary medicine it's not going to get any easier. Um, so we're, we're really hoping that you can show us your abilities academically uh, while, while still an undergrad. Second tip I have uh, is, is quality of experience. So ultimately speaking, we, we're looking for at least 250 hours of veterinary experience. And uh, while it's, it's great to have a large quantity of numbers, what we're really focused on is the quality of experience that you have. Uh, we're not really focused on the students that have 10,000 plus hours. That doesn't necessarily make you a better candidate for our program. Uh, what we're really focused on is uh, those students that have the quality of hours. So do they have a diversity of animal type within their experience? Meaning, do they have all small animal or do they have small animal, some large animal, um, wildlife experience and whatnot? Do they have uh, uh, great responsibilities? Is it all shadowing hours or are you, are you actually getting in there and getting your hands dirty and, and growing in your responsibilities as you get these experiences? So another uh, area that I, I hope students are successful in is, is who they choose for their references. Um, one aspect about UGA's College of Vet Med is we don't have an interview as part of our process. Our interviews consist of us contacting your references and, and really getting a sense for who you are through them. Uh, they've seen you on your worst day and, and your best day and every day in between and, and they know if you have what it takes to be successful not only in, in our curriculum but also in the profession. Another area that I hope that students are successful in is, is communication skills and, and as said before we don't have an interview so our way of, uh, of evaluating your communication skills is, is on the application. So your personal statement, your, uh, your other essays that you have as part of the application. Um, what we're trying to get out of that is, is not only the simple grammatical and structure and, and other components like that but we're also trying to see do you have a mature and professional sense for what veterinary medicine entails. Um, so uh, I really hope that students don't go the emotional route with uh, writing these essays. Your love of animals is wonderful and we hope that everyone has that, that empathy and um, respect for animals from that perspective, but that's not what's going to make you successful in our program. What's going to make you successful is, um, is that professional and mature way of thinking and, um, and appreciation for the sciences. That's what's really going to help show uh, your abilities and, and going to ultimately make you a more competitive applicant. Uh, another tip that I, I definitely want students to pursue while they're getting their experience is just to, to get a simple journal and write down uh, what experience you did after every day you do something. Um, because what we're looking for is the who, what, where, when, and why. Um, so tell us about um, who you worked with, how many hours it was, what the experience entailed, um, in as much detail as you can because at the time of the application, if it's a year down the road or if it's five years down the road, you're going to remember in more detail what you did if you have it all written down. We're not going to require any proof of hours, uh, signed off hours from the veterinarian or, or any tax forms that prove those hours. We're going to trust what you say. Um, so we're hoping that you can give us as much detail so that you can back up the, the number of hours that we have. You can back that up with what you did during that experience. So ultimately what we hope to do is, is have students come to us as early as possible because we want them to make this decision earlier on so that they can make the decisions that are right for them before they go down a path that, that they ultimately will not end up in. I want them to understand that this is more of a journey and not just something you can do within the last one to two years of, of undergrad. Um, it's uh, one thing that the admissions committee really likes to see is, is longevity or um, how long they've pursued this profession. And someone who has really been trying to gain experience from high school on into college um, has really shown us that this is not an overnight dream of theirs, that this is something that they've really dreamed about doing for quite some time now. We see thousands of applicants every year and we know what exactly makes a great applicant and we can help guide you on that path. It's as simple as just coming in and meeting with us to find that out.